The roller coaster car has been has the most potential energy at the beginning of the top because the energy is being stored and getting ready to let go. The the roller coaster car has the most kinetic energy at the beginning when it goes down the the hill because the stored energy is being let go and going fast. As the car goes down the first hill, the potential energy changes into kinetic energy. As the car goes down the second feature, the potential the potential energy changes to kinetic energy again. During the roller coaster, some energy is lost as it ends at the last turn, like right here, because of the friction that's there, which, which is the tape, because the tape slows down the car. An example of Newton's first law on our roller coaster is at the beginning when we let uh, go of our car so it can move on. Because if we don't use contact force to push the car down, then the car will remain at rest where it is. An example of Newton's second law of motion on our roller coaster car is when it goes down the hill. Because when the car goes down the hill, the acceleration of the car will increase because of the force that is being applied by the hill. An example of Newton's third law on our roller coaster is at the end when the roller coaster is stopped. It's stopped by a cup because the cup is there. It helps because it helps bounce the car back. And as you can see, this is our roller coaster. Get ready for the excitement. Potential energy is when it's right here, and the most and the least kinetic energy is right here. This relates this relates to Newton's first law because if if the balance force is not pushed by an unbalanced force, then the balance force wouldn't be able to move. Also, the balance force is easy to push because it doesn't have that much inertia. This this relates to the second law because it when it goes down the hill when the car is moved by force and because of kinetic energy the acceleration increases another reason the acceleration is high is because the mass is decreased this is an example this is an, is an example of Newton's third law because this relates because of the action that the car was going down. The reaction was that when it hit the cup, it bounced backwards. My results would have been changed if, uh, if it was heavier by the car going more slower. I would have been more, it would have been more mass and the acceleration would have gone down. One area in the roller coaster where friction is hurting the protect the project is at the last turn because the tape that friction the tape sometimes stop the car, which is exactly right here. The area where gravity is more the area the a area where gravity is most help is at the beginning because the mass of in the car helps it get the kinetic energy it needs to go through the roller coaster, which starts exactly right here. If I put a curve at the beginning of the roller coaster, then the car will have enough energy to get to over the hills and curves because the marble will have for the ball will have like the, the 
to have the rhythm to go to the curves. Um, yes, my results did support my hypothesis. It supported my hypothesis because when we inserted our bar, the roller coaster passed through it because we already had because the roller coaster already the bar already had a rhythm to go to the loops. The high bar starting here affected the design of the other, other features because then our roller coaster will have enough potential energy to pass through the to everything. I will change the design of my roller coaster to make it go faster by putting more hills than the roller coaster is going steeper. That's the end of our roller coaster.